Hey, this is Scott Drafty Bonsai. In this video, I go over testing I did on all of these SD cards. Pretty much all the cards that I had on hand. There were quite a few older ones and some newer ones. Did two different tests. One test was with a Ubuntu USB stick and their benchmarking tools. I've done two articles in the past with that tool, or at least an older version of it. Works pretty well. I also did a test with a Nikon D600 just to get right times. In the first test with Ubuntu, I set this USB stick up. I do have a companion article that has all of this information. You can just go on and see the data, and there is also a linked Google spreadsheet. You can also see all the data in, which is easier than this video. But I put everything in the video just for the sake of completion, which will be all towards the end of the video. I do have the results in the beginning here that you can check out too if you just want to stick with this. So that's the Ubuntu stuff there you can check out. And they also have the D600. I set it up in three photo bracketing mode with uh, RAW plus JPEG for about 90 megabytes per test of the cards. And then I just set it into uh, high shooting mode so it was quicker to deal with in that case. So here's some of the test results. The first one was with the D600. You can see there's a lot of stuff here, 20 something cards or so. And then some cards are definitely better than others. In this case, lower is better. So really the best one here is that SanDisk, uh, 64 gigabyte. And then uh, here are the, some of the benchmarking results from Ubuntu. Probably relatively similar to what the camera uh, had in that case, but get a little more variation. You can really see the write times, which are the most important. But then the read times vary significantly in this case of using a camera, it doesn't matter as much. And then just I put this in for completion, the access times in milliseconds, which was part of the benchmark. I don't think it's relatively important in our case of photography. So anyways, like I said, the rest of this video is just showing me going through the tests and then showing the screenshots of the benchmarking, which does have more information if you're interested. But like I said, probably want to check out the article in that case.